Well, hello, my gig workers and my customers of gig workers. How are you doing today? Just another day here in Pleasantville, isn't it? Yeah. So somebody was asking me or expressing to me their fear and um, just not being comfortable with doubles and triples. And what should she do? Hi, Freddie. That's the ginger boy. Anyway, I, you know, so I thought I'd do just a little snippet, clip it on doubles and triples. Now, some people stay as far away from them as they can. Other people, um, they fear that their their good rating, their how many stars they have rating could be affected by getting one of them, that they hide the no to low tippers in with them. I will take a double or a triple if it has a substantial tip. And that usually means close to $20. And that kind of means to me that they're small batch orders for, you know, two or three people, but it's worth it to them to have somebody shop it and to tip them. And it's proved out okay for me. I did I did have an Insta cancel a few days ago because there was a Felix on mine and I won't do Felixes anymore. I just feel that perhaps the app gets compromised or my account gets compromised all the way through a Felix. If you've had one, it's for flowers and it stresses all the stuff you're supposed to do. Buy a pretty vase, do the card this way. You know, I'll give you an extra tip at the end. And this triple batch was $23 and it had less than 30 items in it. So it seemed like a good thing until I saw Felix and it was like, Insta cancel, sorry. Um, so um, avoid the Felixes. Just trust me, save your cancellation rate for things like that. And um, so when doing a double or a triple, I've got a system that I've worked out in my head. Um, first of all, it's, it's never more than like 40, 45 items total. So, um, recently I had a double and it was about 45 items and it was like 20 for one and 25 for the other. So after I accept the batch, I go in and say hi to the customer and then I'm heading to the store to shop for them and all that good stuff. And I go over what items they're having. And depending on what they're getting, that will um, be where they sit in the cart. Even with a double, I take the little handle, you know, basket, and I put that in the bottom of the cart. And that is going to be whichever customer has the least things. Um, and then that will go in the top and into the cart. I bring a Sharpie with me in case they have things like a case of water or, you know, tied bulky things that'll go underneath the carriage so I can put A or B. And then determining, you know, who has the most items or bulkiest items, I should say, um, I will do a post-it because usually the top of my cart is A and B is the bottom. See, so A is above and B is below. Customer A, customer B. But in the event that B has less bulky items and A has more, then I have to put a post. I put it at the um, the front of the cat in, um, and I scotch tape it there. So I'm reminded, reminded, reminded that A is down there. And that B is the top part where you'd put a child and the plastic carry basket. Um, and so that's how I do it, along with the Sharpie for underneath the cart. And it just works. If I've got a three, a triple batch, then hopefully A is going to be up top where the child would go. B is in the um, plastic basket and C is in the cart itself. So C in the cart itself, B in the basket, A above, A, B, C, and hopefully the items fit. Otherwise, the Sharpie comes out for the bottom of the cart. Have I confused you all? 
but it does work for me. But I do have to have my little post-its and my Sharpie because my brain will get confused. But the ABC, if it works out that way, it's, it's primo and I love it. So that's how I do it. I'm not afraid of them. If there's a hefty tip, um, you know, we're talking in the $20 range for either the double or the triple before I do um, accept offer. So I just want um, you to be careful if you're new to shopping for Instacart, be wary of these. It, it, it gets a little nerve wracking and um, you want to avoid Terry at all costs. Terry in all caps, also known as um, PIA Patty, pain in the ass Patty. I like that somebody somebody gave me that idea. So, you know, um, PIA Patty is, you know, a frequent, maybe it slipped in and you promised yourself never again and you don't want to get into insta canceling. So you have to soldier through and, and do it. Um, but you know, where you're made a sport of, like, like you're the mouse and the, the hamster in the cage and, you know, you're a three-year-old and you're bored, so you're, like, teasing mercilessly this poor hamster. That's what I felt like with Terry. I doubt she'll ever watch this channel. But anyway, um, so don't be afraid of them. If there's a decent tip, even if there's a no tipper in there, you can kill them with kindness, and they probably only have a few items so it would be kind of hard to really um, get into it. Of course, she says that and then watch tomorrow. I'll get a one from a double batch. But I don't fear them as much as or avoid them as much as a lot of people do. Um, sometimes I, I, I think of it as like my senior brain and it gets a little um, workout, which is kind of a good thing. It keeps me on my toes. But I can't do it without my aids of the Sharpie, the post-it, and the, um, you know, assigning of the spaces in, in the cart. And it just, I like them. They don't bother me. And sometimes I find that older, kind of spry type of women um, that are tech savvy, pretty tech savvy, maybe my age, maybe even older, that they're... Um, you know, they're in the game. They just don't need a lot of things. They might live alone. I have one delightful lady. And when she saw my name, I guess when they sent her the email or the text, she said, is this my Sarah? I mean, what's not to love about that? I said, yes, it's your Sarah. I've missed you. And she's a lovely lady. And she understands the rating system with the five stars. And, you know, people like that are just golden, right? They're gems. And we love them. And they appreciate us and they show it with a nice rating and um, a nice tip. So um, not everything is cookie cutter, definitely with Instacart. So just, you know, be conscious when you accept it. I would never do a double or a triple batch that has like 50, 60, 70, 80 items. No freaking deacon way. Hi, Benita. <laughs> So have a wonderful day. Just be aware. Um, don't ever do a triple until you're confident with doubles and how that whole routine goes. This person also said they had trouble with the app upon check checkout. Oh God, it's just like view checkout, view order, you know. And sometimes I hope to get all through with them in case there's a loyalty card, um, you know, for B, but there isn't for A and it gets confusing. So um, I try to go through and have that knowledge so when I get to the checkout with the cashier, I can say, you know, this is a three-part order. Um, a doesn't have a loyalty card. Can you put in the stores one? And they always say, absolutely. Then I'll get to B. So I do it in the order of the A, B, and C because that's how it kind of falls along in the Instacart app. So... Anyway, it's it's doable. It's just getting used to it. There's only one way to get used to doing Instacart doubles and triples and anything else with Instacart replacements, customer choices and all that kind of stuff is you're the one that has to do it. Right. And so you're kind of alone out there. You know, you're sitting in the store and it's like I haven't heard from them. What do I do? Do I, you know, refund? Do I 
like text again? Do I call them on the phone? What do I do? What do I do? I'll tell you one thing that annoys me is when you get to the end of the shop and then it says call to review. Huh. Like why? Why do I have to call to review? You've been non-responsive the entire shop and now I'm going to call you and walk you through five things and three of them are dog food, cat food, or baby food items that are out of stock. I already told you. What do you mean? You know how that goes. But oftentimes when I hit, when I get the um, call them for the review, they don't answer the phone. So it's perfect. Then I can just say done reviewing. Sometimes I, I um, don't call them if they're totally non-responsive. And um, so that's, that's it. That's a wrap. How to do doubles and triples or how I do them and not go crazy. I don't worry about the time. I just go slow. It's got to have a nice tip um, before I do it, figuring it's it's people that don't need a lot that understand tipping. Not one of those where, you know, somebody doesn't tip or is a low tipper. It usually feels like sometimes, and I know this may be ageist, but you can kind of tell by the names if they're like another generation and um, it works. It just, you know, you just get used to your clientele, even if you've never met them, just by names and items they've chosen, especially um, the older people. They like things like Walker shortbread and, um, you know, they'll order um, things that are kind of old fashioned. It's kind of sweet, really. And uh, so that's it. I, I enjoy it all. And um, Kind of get that feel and that intuition and that just sixth sense about who the customer is just by the name and the items they order. It all works out. I love my Instacart. I love my DoorDash and I love my Uber Eats too. It's fun. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here the next time. This has been Sarah, Instacart, Pearls of Wisdom. Have a great productive day. Thank you for watching.